Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to 7th Street. We were not going to harm the dinosaur. We were only supposed to take film and study it. You ding dong! Tsuburaya Productions. Dinosaurs. Richard Boone? Ooh, this movie's going to be a good one. There are no more. He is the last dinosaur. It has been way too long since my last kaiju film review, and it's been even longer since my last dinosaur movie review. That's not a very good representation of my actual life. I watch monster movies all the friggin' time. Ever since I was about four years old, I've had a pretty consistent dose of giant monster movies. At this point, I'm pretty sure that without them, I'd go into severe withdrawals, complete with violent seizures and acute psychosis. So today, let's talk about one of my all-time favorites. The Last Dinosaur is a 1977 Japanese-American tokusatsu film produced by Rankin Bass, visual effects by Eiji Tsuburaya, and it stars Richard Boone as Mastin Thrust, a wealthy big-game hunter who owns a multi-million dollar company that uses a manned laser robot to drill for oil under the polar ice caps. And now's when you chant, drill, baby, drill. Yes! Yeah. Right away, this movie establishes Richard Boone's character as a wealthy playboy asshole. He just rides around in his private jet, grabbing this lady's boobies, and bragging about the amount of rare animals that he's killed. Following the latest expedition by his laser drill, only one man, geologist Chuck Wade, returns. He explains that the drill was going through a routine checkup in the ice caps when it suddenly surfaced into a valley superheated by a volcano. Are you still with me? <laughs> when the crew began exploring the area, they were then hunted and devoured by a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, we are going to find that animal. Sir, do you intend to kill that animal? No, I don't intend to kill that animal. At a press conference, Mastin Thrust decides that he is going to go to the valley himself so that he can track down and kill the dinosaur. He plans to take with him Chuck from the previous expedition, a token Japanese scientist, Bunta, a racial stereotype that makes me really uncomfortable, and a Pulitzer Prize winning photographer played by Joan Van Ark. Why don't you come up and see my pictures, big boy? <laughs> Mr. Thrust is initially unwilling to let Van Ark's character join the crew because of reasons. You crazy? No woman going on this trip. Now, I've been going on safari most of my life. I have never taken a woman, and I'm not gonna change now. <laughs> But not to worry, Joan Van Ark manages to convince him by being a strong, independent, hard-working woman that's tough as nails. I'm just kidding, she gets in by sleeping with him. <laughs> <laughs> Upon arriving in the valley, the group immediately notices pterodactyls and other dangerous prehistoric creatures. So whatever the hell it is, I suggest we remove ourselves. That thing looks like it's going to need a lot of room. Come on! Which brings me to my only real gripe with this movie. The title! I, why on earth did they call this The Last Dinosaur? It's clearly not the last dinosaur. The valley has plenty of dinosaurs. 
but they still stuck with this name for some reason. And they even wrote a cheesy 70s love ballad called The Last Dinosaur. It isn't long before the T-Rex shows up and kills our token Japanese scientist. Aw, oh, Japanese people are always the first ones to go. And the T-Rex also steals the laser drill robot thing, which, if you hadn't guessed by now, is the only way for our heroes to return home. The T-Rex then has a pretty spectacular battle with a Triceratops, which for some reason had been burrowed in the side of a mountain? <laughs> That's, um, really stupid. Now, wait a second. Where have I heard that roar before? Hey, that's the Godzilla roar! Like a moron, Thrust vows to kill the dinosaur no matter what it takes. The group does befriend a cave woman whom they decide to name Hazel and together they try to kill the T-Rex by constructing stupid things like a catapult made from bamboo. <laughs> Chuck Wade then discovers the laser drill in the dinosaur's lair, and they all decide to get the fuck out of there. Well, that is all except for Thrust. His obsession with killing the dinosaur is just too great. In the final scene, Frankie pleads with Mastin to go back with them, to leave the T-Rex as it is because it's the last one the last of its kind. However, Thrust replies, so am I. and therefore stays behind to kill the dinosaur and live the rest of his days in the prehistoric valley. What a maroon! You're not the last of your kind, Mastin. You're a stubborn, rich, playboy fuck who can't stand not getting his own way, and you'd rather rot in a barren wasteland just because you don't want to call it a draw with a dinosaur? Are you really that egotistical? Jesus fucking Christ, this guy needs to run for president. He'd clean up in the flyover states. What are the damn thing is jammed. <laughs> I love this movie. I really, really love this movie. And I don't even really know why. I first saw this movie when I was about 17, 18. I bought it on VHS and I watch it all the fucking time. This B-movie monstrosity was originally intended for a U.S. theatrical release, but surprise, surprise, it failed to find distribution and ended up as a television movie of the week airing on ABC in a edited 90-minute runtime, which is the version that I found on VHS. The film was eventually picked up for overseas markets by Cinema International Corporation, where it was released in its full 106-minute version. 106 minutes? 106 minutes? 
My VHS copy is only 95 minutes! I really need to get my hands on that director's cut. The Last Dinosaur is stupidly beautiful. This movie epitomizes the so-bad-it's-good genre. This movie is loads of fun to watch if you enjoy bad movies. And I love them. Especially bad monster movies. Ugh. So I consider The Last Dinosaur to be one of the crowning gems of my collection. Why don't you just shut up, huh? Why don't you just make me? It's time has passed. There are no more. But make sure that you reference The Last Dinosaur. Uh, here's a ticket back to wherever that was that I found you. Portland. Portland? 